Hey guys, and welcome back to another plan with me. This was last week's spread. I really enjoyed using this sticker guru like fall kit, but now we're moving on to the first week of November, which happens to feature Halloween. So I have a few ideas of how to make this day Halloween inspired, but I'm actually gonna be using a new kit from us, which is our The Cat's Meow kit. We have been obsessed about this cat kit for a couple of weeks and it finally came out and I love it. it makes me really excited for new pets and that sort of thing. I just, I, I know I have a cat, but now I want like many cats. I wanna be the official cat lady. But this is the kit, it's so cute. So the decorative sheet, the labels, decorative boxes, functional, heart checklist, half boxes, and then the washi strips. And we're actually turning some of these into enamel pins. So those should be here in a couple of weeks. So if you really dig the vibe of this kit, you can actually get some of the decorative cats in enamel pin form. But let's get started dive right in. The first thing I'm going to do is probably the washi strips at the bottom. Don't know how I want to do this. I'm not doing a no white space, so I am doing a white space. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about doing this. I think I'll put it down at the bottom. That way I can use those lines for info about the day. And I also have that Gilmore Girls countdown that I'm going to be adding in. So let's add in that countdown right away. Now I'm gonna go through with the decorative boxes. The first one is going up in the corner. Decorative boxes are down. I'm going to add, here it is, a to-do list header over to the sidebar, crookedly, apparently. <laughs> then I'm gonna put a to-do list onto Tuesday. While I'm thinking about it, I have these holiday half boxes and I wanna put the Halloween one down here. I'm not sure, maybe I'll put it. Trick or treating is on a half box at the bottom. And then I have these little Bob's Burger stickers because I dress up like Louise. So I'm gonna use one of these Louise stickers. My mom came to visit on Monday, so I have another half box to put up at the top. And she was kind enough to bring us donuts. So let me go through my stack of stickers and find this like pumpkin spice donut. These were from these were from last year, One Orange Snowflake. So I'm not sure if they were available this year. I tend to pull out stickers that I think I will find useful. So I'm not constantly rifling through all the stickers that I have. So I pull them out and leave them to the side and kind of go through them. It helps me remember exactly what I want to put down as well because I have them like in an obvious like viewable location. We cut down some of our decorative grass and stuff on Monday to make sure that it's ready for winter. Payroll on the side. I added some things to the to-do list as well as this label because my little Megan and I have been big and little for three years. So I wanted to mark that because I always send her a card or something special to honor our big little anniversary. So let's move on to the top section. I have these holiday stickers. These are like our most popular sticker we have. So I'm gonna add these to the top sections. I wanna get some laundry done. Got some laundry to do. These are by My Queen Bee Designs. I have these fall bucket list stickers that I'm going to add in because I did a couple of these things yesterday. We watched a scary movie and we dressed up for Halloween. Next, I'm gonna add one of these labels to the top of Wednesday to cover up that little header. Next, I'm gonna add one of these rack paper stickers, computers to the top of it to cover up the today. I think I'm gonna try and do the same thing over on Saturday and Sunday with these orange headers. Oh, I should have picked a different color. Gonna pick a different color, green headers. And then I'm gonna take the weekend banner and cover it up so that they're still the green and you don't see the black header, but it's festive. 
Sorry guys about the lighting. I'm literally the worst. I'm the worst at lighting and I don't think I'm ever gonna actually get better. So that's just something about me. Let's move on to the rest of the sticky notes. On Friday, we're gonna go see Doctor Strange, but first we're doing a live stream. We keep forgetting. I don't know why, it just slips our mind lately. I think I might add another heart checklist as well, but I want to do something cute at the bottom for the Doctor Strange thing. So I'm taking these washi strips putting them together to make a decorative box of sorts. Then I'm gonna add the Significant Otter sticker and then the movie marquee that comes on the functional sheet. That's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I'm also gonna add this movie night popcorn from this Rack Paper Stickers sampler. So I didn't like how any of that ended up looking, so I removed it all and now I'm gonna try again. Sometimes things just don't look the way you want them to in your head. So I'm gonna use a decorative box or a half box. Then I'm gonna add the popcorn sticker next to it. Add this little movie night header from this, I think this is the Aran sheet. Then do the same thing that I have been doing with the headers by adding a header in and putting a sticker on top of it. I went to Target today, so I'm just gonna add the Target trip to the decorative box. Okay, back on track. I know that there's this little blemish on the cat paw, so I might have to figure out how to fix that, but it's probably not gonna bug me that much, so we should be okay. I am gonna add another checklist to Thursday, though. And then a decorative box above that. I'm not gonna write anything on it, but I just wanna have it set for when I do get to Thursday. I kind of pre-plan things out, but then plan as I go. So I set things up so I'll have a space for it or whatever when the time comes, but I don't actually always write in everything all at once. On Saturday, we are doing a Founders breakfast thing at Founders Brewing Company. We had to get tickets for it and they actually sold out like in four minutes. It was crazy fast, but we managed to get some tickets. So I have a half box, and then this little beer sticker from Pretty on Paper Co. And then later that day, we are going to Lansing to have dinner with my family, so I have this dinner in Lansing, half box, and then I'm gonna put a family dinner sticker on top of it. And why not put a little brunch one? Another checklist for new releases on Sunday. Then we're going to the Frederick Gardens on Sunday as well. Busy, busy. Adding a little camera blobby to Frederick Meyer Gardens because we're definitely gonna be taking lots of photos when we're there. And then I need to find a laptop blobby like this one for the new releases. So that was all of the sticky notes so we're pretty well set and i have managed to cover all of the headers which you know is very important to me so let's go through and add in the decorative stickers if i can find them here they are let's add in some decorative stickers and see where we're at oh before i do that i remember that i'm having an erin condren order delivered today so i can use one of these Decorative cat stickers are down, and I also added a sloth from this Queen Bee Designs sampler. And I think we're pretty well set. I'm gonna add this trash can over to Sunday somewhere. And this Happy Mail sticker above the Erin Condren order. All right, guys, there you have it. The Cats Meow weekly spread. I have been really enjoying this kind of all over the place, no white space planning. It's been a lot of fun, but that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoy Plan With Me's and subscribe for more videos from me, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.